Hello and welcome back to Genesis Designs and Model Craft and welcome back to Chatterbox. Today, my now traditional coffee. Um, we've got a bit of Biscoff action as well going on today. Love these things. I have not eaten all of these in one go. I'd like to, I'd like to add that straight away. Well, a little bit of a slow news week, really. Um, I have not had time at the bench. Slurp. Um, as I alluded in the last chatterbox, there's been some stuff going on, which has precluded me being at the bench or having spare time to be at the bench. Um, I'm starting to get through to the final phases of that now, so I should be back, be able to um, be getting on with my projects and showing them with you before too long. Is the mosquito? Uh, it's painted and it's varnished, and we're ready for some decals on that. Um, but there was a comment on the, I think it was the last chatterbox, or it may have been uh, the last mosquito episode about kabuki tape. So I habitually talk in terms of Tamiya tape as being kabuki tape. And uh, the comment was, kabuki tape isn't a thing, with a link to a Will Patterson video from 2016. Uh, and the thing is, I remembered the video. I actually watched it back then. Um, and I watched it again. Uh, and he talks really about the fact that um, there's really no such thing as kabuki tape. Why do we call it kabuki tape? And, and that goes on for a little while. So a quick Google later, and you can very easily, if you Google uh, kabuki tape or Japanese tape or something like that, you can, you'll find that Kabuki is a, a sort of a range name used by a manufacturer of tapes called Kamoi, Kamoi Tapes or Kamoi Papers, um, who manufacture many, many different types of tape, much like any other tape manufacturer does. And this this, uh, this so-called Kabuki range is for a semi-transparent yellow pressure-sensitive tape. Very much like the tape I'm looking at now, this Tamiya branded tape. And uh, a little bit more Googling will yield the information that the 40 millimeter Tamiya tape, now I don't have that any, I don't have any of that here uh, at the moment. I stopped using it some time ago, but some people have rolls of that with Kamoi tapes written on the inside, funnily enough, the same manufacturer. Um, so I think it's just become a well-known, a sort of um, a thing that people call Tamiya tape, Kabuki tape, much the same as the way that here in England we refer to vacuum cleaners as Hoovers, uh, Hoover being a brand of vacuum cleaner. Um, so anyway, that sent me off down a rabbit hole a little bit, but um, the so-called washi tapes that were brought up in those videos, um, or in that video, it's something that, that Will had found by by looking around. And, and I did, in fact, buy the washi tapes. These are the same ones that he had in his video. You can see the slightly aged nature of this packaging. This is called MT Masking Tape, but if you look a little more closely, Kamoi Paper Washi Adhesive Tape. And I bought this because in the video, the Will Patterson video, he claims that this is in fact exactly the same as Tamiya tape and also just as good if not better. I disagree with that. It does look broadly similar but it isn't. It isn't the same. It's it's softer. Um, you can see from the white here that it does have a different makeup. It's softer and the adhesive is, isn't as good. It doesn't stay put as well and it actually also has a slight tendency to do what other tapes, cheaper tapes do, where, where they leave adhesive behind. And that is why, several years later, all of these brightly coloured tapes are still in this box. Um, obviously I've used some of it, but what I have used has been used on other things and by my daughter to prettify things. It hasn't been used on models. Um, so that's just my opinion. Other people may not agree. Other people may think this tape is just fine. Uh, and it is still available. This came off Amazon and this whole set was 
back then I think it was about ten pounds and it's you know so it's a lot cheaper um, but what I do use or have done quite a substantial amount actually is this kip this kip tape again superficially similar you can see it's darker it's thicker as well but it's it's clearly similar stuff and this is much closer actually to the quality and has much better uh, the properties of this Tamiya tape than these um, empty washi tapes are um, now this roll's nearly gone uh, but I thought for the sake of um, making this little little bit of waffle for you uh, that I'd get a new roll and here it is Kip got this from Amazon and I'll put the link below but notice now it's the same stuff it's 308 although it's now called 3808 um, it's German comes from Germany um, but now it's got washi tape written on the inside there sorry washi tech kip interesting huh here it is on Amazon this is the exact stuff I ordered eight pounds this roll eight pounds uh, which there you go in fact there is there is some colored washi tape right there <laughs> um, eight pounds this has cost now you cannot or I wouldn't use this in the same way that you can Tamiya the edges are really good on this tape but as you can see there's quite a lot of dirt on the edges of these rolls and and I did mention in the last video about how the snail keeps the edges of these rolls of tape really clean so that you get that nice clean edge when you're masking things um, but what you can use this for is blocking in and you can use it for making masks because it's by and large pretty similar stuff now yes eight eight pounds sounds like a lot but here I've got an 18 mil refill and these are about four pounds I don't think it takes too much figuring out to see how much more tape there is on this roll than there is on this roll this is a 30 millimeter wide by I don't even know how long but it's probably at least 50 meters yes it says 30 millimeters by 50 meters there's a lot more tape here than there is here so if you are interested in saving a bit of money on your masking tape requirements then I would I do heartily recommend this kip tape as I say for blocking in for making marks if you if you take so let's just get this one because it's being used already if you take some tape off the roll attach it to the table and cut your strips you can use this in exactly the same way that you would tummy it you just have to go to the effort of putting it down on the table and cutting it just to ensure that you've got that nice clean sharp edge so there we go a little a little bit of kabuki tape chat so yes I accept that perhaps the term kabuki isn't entirely correct or relevant to anything but it's an accepted thing and modelers understand what I'm talking about which is which is why I use the term honestly um, and as I say I've got a strong suspicion that these tapes are manufactured by this Kamoi company that do make the so-called kabuki tape anyway there's that for you uh, in other news I have obviously because I haven't been doing any modeling managed to buy some more model kits but I did want to bring these to the attention of the massive because Vincent models for sale has got some really really good deals on on things at the minute um, so I, I literally bought a couple and you can't have too many tiger moths anyway in fairness this is a Revel boxing of the 132nd ICM Tiger Moth kit. Um, the 132nd ICM Tiger Moth uh, in its sort of solitary form will set you back roughly £35-ish. A bit more, a bit less, depending where you're getting it from and all the rest of it. This, £22.99. Yeah. £22.99. So Revel Rebox is exactly the same kit. It's a massive box with almost nothing in it. I have reviewed the Tiger before, but there's what you get. That's the entire kit. And fishes down in that massive box. Goodness me, there's the decal sheet. 
instructions and Revel offer two schemes, both uh, modern restored aircraft. Interesting departure. This one, which is branded by the Royal Mail for some reason, celebration 500 years of Royal Mail, and this one, a Swiss registered civil aircraft in a really beautiful scheme. Very, very nice, but it is the beautiful ICM plastic in a bargain package $22.99. In a similar vein, and one that I didn't already have and had been covetously glancing at on many, many occasions, the Gladiator. The Gladiator is such a characterful beast. They're so wonderful and they sound so glorious, the real ones. And I hadn't yet picked up the ICM version of this, but here it is again in a Revel box. And again, ugh, smacking myself in the face with this. <laughs> a ruinously large box for one sprue package. I will do a review on this and it has reminded me that I haven't yet done a review on the Stearman, have I? Um, from that English patient set up. Um, and while I was there I picked this up. Obviously this is the Airfix 48th scale bolt and pull defiant. I had I have not built this kit yet. I've done the 72nd one a couple of times. Uh, this one is second hand and cost again £22 second hand but it's all sealed and in perfect condition it is really good for second hand stuff he will only sell stuff second hand on the site if the bags inside are unopened so you're pretty well guaranteed you're not going to get a dodgy kit so here you are in case you don't believe me there's the receipt of the invoice $22.99 for the Tiger Moth, $27.99 for the Gladiator, which is an even better price actually than the Tiger Moth is. The ICM versions of that will set you back near a sort of 45-ish. Awesome prices. And on top of that, he's he's got some several other Revel kits uh, at great prices going on at the moment. So if I just refer you to the website, if you go to the website um, and find the latest items that upper tab there hit that and I'll scroll through now and find these he's done another second hand but they're all already sold as you can see and the Revel kits I'm talking about are here so he's got Space Shuttle with um, the full stack there uh, for $29.99 he's got the 69 Camaro Super Sport $16.99 and here's, here's the Tiger Moth also got the P51D 32nd scale at $27.99 and the Gladiator at $27.99 and there are some tank kits uh, currently 9 Gladiators 18 Tiger Moths and 17 P51s left but as well as that it's got some Ridiculous deals on some Edward stuff here at the moment, in my opinion, anyway. So the foot no, the the one forty eighth scale BF one oh nine G ten kit for eleven ninety nine, or a profi pack one seventy second Focke Wolf one ninety for ten ninety nine. I realise my lights are getting all over the phone. Some really just great prices on some of these Edwards and again he's got multiples of these so if any of that interests you I would say hop on over to Vince's website and have a look because those prices are just simply fantastic but I am quite happy to have finally got my hands on the big gladiator and at those prices I really thought I should let you lot know that they were there and they're available before they're all gone because they are dwindling rapidly uh, so that's it for this chatterbox, a short and sweet one. Um, as I said earlier, I, I am hoping to get back to relatively normal bench duties within the next week or two. So apologies again for the ongoing lack of content. I do have a couple of reviews pre-filmed, and I, I could I'll, I'll try and get those edited and get them up just to just to give you something to watch. So I hope you're all well, and I'll leave it there until next time. So it only remains for me to say. Look after yourselves, look after each other, and Genesis out.